So I have a story as well, and my story all started at the 2019 District Conference. On the conference agenda was a talk from Mark Bala, the Toilet Warrior. The name alone made me want to join the session. It was definitely one of those moments where, based on my own experiences, I had no idea there were schools in the world that had no toilet facilities for their students. He went on to explain that this situation was particularly difficult for girls as they reach puberty to not be able to properly care for themselves. He also told the story of a teacher who taught in a one-room schoolhouse that had to cancel classes every month for several days when she had her period. I was aghast. When I went back to my club, the Rotary Club of Chicago Heights Park Forest, which I have some members back there, and shared with them what I had learned at the conference, one of our members, Dr. J. Patel, waved his hand and added that where he was from in India, he was familiar with this and that he knew how difficult it was for girls in school and that his house became a place for girls to stop to go to the bathroom. He also shared that the Rotary Club of Baroda, India worked with our club previously on establishing an eye hospital. He recommended Baroda as a good partner, so we began the process of applying for a global grant. While the Rotarians in India researched and found construction partners and undertook community assessments, Dr. Patel and I visited clubs to gather resources and gather funds. And we were successful with the wonderful clubs of Homewood, Madison, Chicago Near South, Mantino, Bradley Bourbonnet, and Rotary One. They all embraced our story. One of our first detours in the global grant process was when the foundation told us that we couldn't just build toilets for girls, though. It turns out that that might cause some animosity. <laughs> so we changed the application to include toilets for everyone, girls, boys, and, and teachers. You see here that these slides show the inauguration of the toilets. That's what this is called in India. It's, it's very interesting. And it was quite some fanfire. The schools and the community were quite proud of the new toilet blocks. And the ribbon cutting or inauguration included prayer ceremonies and offerings, as well as you can see, toilets for boys, girls, and teachers. So that was the inauguration ceremony. The next slide shows what the previous facilities looked like, or there were none, and what the new facilities became. Finally, these are our partners with the Baroda Club of India. You know, you'll note that they also partnered with UNICEF to assist with health and sanitation instruction classes. And one last story. I'm retired and fortunate enough to be able to take a month-long vacation. So just last month, while I was cruising the Caribbean, I get an email from Abhinav Nagori, the gentleman on the left in the rotary shirt. It turns out his son is a chemical engineering student studying at the University of Wisconsin. He tells me his son has a summer internship at the Kohler Company in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and he's looking for a host family for his son from Rotary. Well, the Rotary Club of Chicago Heights and Park Forest and the Rotary Club of Baroda, India had just become twin clubs based on our wonderful history. So I guess that made us family, and when a family member asks for help, you give them help. I mentioned that Sheboygan was not in our district, but I would, I would give it a shot and I would try. So I reached out to the Rotary Club of Sheboygan, and I guess if you're a Rotary in your family, and they graciously contacted Amidab's son, Abi, and found several Rotary families he can stay with throughout the summer. I tell you this because being part of Rotary and the foundation, allows us all a wonderful opportunity to build meaningful relationships locally and all over the world. Thank you.